Now in the studio today, we welcome Vicky Lucas from Enliven. Uh, she is the area manager there from Presbyterian Support. Welcome, Vicky. How are you? Morena, Steph. Very good, thank you. Morena, it's lovely to see you in the studio today. Thanks. Nice, nice shiny, happy face. It's lovely. Um, now, I thought we could talk about a couple of things. Of course, you know, it's the Christmas season and it's stressful in general. Yes. Um, and then you add, um, you know, kind of weird COVID things happening sure. and, and disconnection, I think, for some people, especially the elderly people as well. Um, but I thought we'd start with International Day of the Older Person was held a wee while ago. Can you tell us how that went? Well, it's been running for about 20, 25 years in this district. Um, Presbyterian Support's always been part of the committee. There's about six of us from uh, staff on the committee, but there's about four other community members. And it's a celebration, so it's not an information-giving thing. It's just a pure entertainment afternoon. And this year we didn't want to break the cycle, but we wanted to, to be quite careful mm. and and how do we make it safe for people feeling like they can go out and amongst people they don't know? Yeah, yeah. So we come up with a little plan that if we invite groups that are already set up, then they can come in their group, they can sit in their group, and then they can leave in their group. Lovely. And it just worked so well. People felt comfortable about coming out. We had 80-odd people there. Um, it was at the Kaipo Golf Club. They looked after us really well. Um, so we had afternoon tea that they, they put on for us, and it was a gold coin so it was nice and it was just an easy way to do it and raffles and wonderful singing guy on the guitar and he just got everybody up dancing that could get up and dance nice. so it was wonderful. I think it's a great idea especially having people in groups you know your own little sort of wee cell yeah. little wee bubble yeah. um, because I know with my, my parents they live down south but um, you know my dad's in his 80s now and my mum's heading in that direction as well too yeah. you know and it was really daunting and kind of overwhelming with you know COVID and, and they wanted to go but then That's they were Right. sure and then when when we could go out they still still felt like oh I'm not quite sure that's so right. that's really nice that you could do that yeah it worked it worked really well we were really it, there was just so many people tapping dancing oh, nice. jigging in their chair uh, singing along yeah um I think yeah, that's wonderful it was neat yeah now now um Vicky heading towards uh, that time of the year with Christmas so caring for older people at Christmas time do you have some tips um, for us things that we can consider to help support uh, the elderly community yeah yeah, a lot of people are well looked after by their family, but if they're alone and you know that they're not connecting with family over Christmas, it would be just nice to think about them. Some people are quite private, so maybe just a simple little um, Christmas card in their letterbox might make yeah, their just day. just a knock on the door, uh, you know, yeah. Merry Christmas or a wee cake yeah. or something like that. Yeah, actually a lot of people say to me they don't like a fuss. So mm, yeah. um, if it's an easy, simple, you know, keep it simple, Short. Um, then it, it just might be quite a gem maybe know. short and simple type of you know drop in and, and yeah. you know, just every now and again I think that's a really good idea um, so if we have um, someone that we can think of that might need some assistance what would be our best way around that we go oh maybe that neighbour yeah we've got a lot of older person services at Presbyterian Support based in the Rangiwa office so you can pop in to see us at 258 High Street or um, you can give me a ring on 03 261 2890 we also have an 0800 phone number, 0800 447 874. <laughs> Your pen was in the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, but you could ask for a ring your if you're going to ring the 0800 number because it covers quite yeah, a Yeah, because it's a South area. Island, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. So um, for, for in-home visits for older people in the re region, can you tell us yes. a little bit about that? So we have volunteer visitors. In fact, we are actually needing some people to visit so oh, we yes. have more visitors than people to visit at the moment so if you know of someone who could do with someone to pop in once a week have a bit of a have a bit of a yarn or um, um, someone who can have a yarn to someone while the, their person their carer can go out for a little break oh that's a really good idea yeah so what's sort of involved for that say uh, if I say look I've got maybe an hour a week that I could um, spare to come in and pop in and connect with an elderly person sure. what would I do you just have to be interested in older people people that's all you really need to do come and in, come into the office and um, or ring Ronnie Jordan our volunteer coordinator there's um, she will meet with you she will talk over what 
you're wanting to do and then try and match up someone who's um, who's waiting to be visited. Yeah. The where's, the how's, the why's. Yeah. Um, you can ring uh, Ronnie. We've got 261-2889 or you can yes. pop in and see them. Um, I think that's a really great idea and it's um, also can, um, if you are a, a volunteer popping along, if you have kids, can you take the kids with you? Like, can you sort of do a grandparent type thing or not really? Oh, that sounds awesome. I think that would be a great idea. That sounds I mean, fantastic. I used to love going, well, majority of the time, I used to like going and see my grandmother and yeah. in, in the rest home. Yeah. Um, and, and talking to older people, their stories are fascinating. Yeah. Well, we're very lucky. We have a lovely group that comes into the Rangi Otocha Club um, and does Christmas carols. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. And the, just the connection between the generations is beautiful. It's great, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. And it, seeing the smiles and it gets people laughing and giggling and yeah, things yeah. that kids come out with are hilarious. <laughs> and we have another group, actually, which yeah. is a mobile group. We call them mobile mates and they visit the um, Kaipoi High School. Oh wonderful. Yeah so there's um, there's a really nice connection there too. That's so. great. Really important mm. I think that to keep those connections up. Now talking to Vicky Lucas from Enliven, uh, she's the Enliven Area Manager also from Presbyterian Support. Um, now as we finish up, Singing Sensation, you're looking for someone. Oh, <laughs> well it, we had a little sort of team meeting yesterday at the Rangio Totra Club and one of the things that would improve the program is an increase in music they have a fantastic group that come in once a month but just someone who is has an instrument or can play the piano there for sing along so the old songs um, it would just add quite a bit to the program if, if someone was interested in volunteering in that way oh that's really cool now um, Vicky if we are a singer or a musician and we think you know we've got a wee bit of time to spare we can definitely pop down who, who do we contact you to say Con- yes we can help contact Ronnie Jordan on that 261-2889 that's wonderful. Now, Vicky, I wish you and your family and, of course, Presbyterian Support and Enliven a very Merry Christmas oh, and a Happy you, New Steve. Year. And thank you for coming into Campus Merry Christmas FM. to you too. Thank Cheers. you so much. And we'll catch you in the 2021. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks very much. Thanks.